so hey guys welcome back to another video with your girl Tracy in today's video I will be showing y'all how I got this look if you would like to see how I got this look continue watching so as you can see I already did one eye off camera and I'm just going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shades Fawn and Medium Beige. I'm going to mix those two shades together and I'm going to apply it to my lid and blend it all out. So that's what I'm doing right here. After blending my concealer, I'm going to go into my Miss Rose palette and I'm going to take this light brown shade and I will be using that to set that concealer onto my lid. From that same palette, I'll be taking that dark blue shade and my Morphe brush to blend that blue into my crease area. While you are applying your blue shadow into your crease area, you want to make sure you blend it all out. You don't just want to pat it on and leave it like that. Blend it out from left to right, right to left, until it's looking all smooth and nice. As you can see, I applied a sticky tape at the outer corner of my eyes, just so my eyeshadow can have that sharp wing kind of look. But if you don't prefer to use it, you don't have to. But I chose to use it. So that's just my preference. Now I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild blending brush. From that same Miss Rose palette, I'll be taking the pink shade and I'll be applying it above that blue shade. So what you want to do is blend that pink shade right on top of that blue shade. That way you doesn't have a sharp line going across. So you want to blend it and buff it all in. That way it mixes together. Now go hop back into your eyeshadow palette and go grab a lighter pink shade and apply that to the inner corner and the key thing to do is blend. Blend that eyeshadow out until there's no sharp line. The only time you should be seeing a sharp line is when you're cutting your crease, okay? So go ahead and blend that shadow out. Now taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Medium Beige and I'll be using that to cut my crease. The brush that I just showed that I will be using to cut my crease is a wet and wild small angled brush. That is what I use to cut my crease. Then it took me a while to cut this crease because I just want it to go once. I don't want to mess it all up. And then I have to redo that whole high. So guys, if you don't want to see how long it took me to cut my crease, you can just fast forward this video and, you know, tap on the right and skip it off, skip it off a little bit. Yeah, but it does take me a while because I haven't been doing this cut crease for a long time. I just learned. So bear with me, okay?
I'll use the baby wipes to wipe off that excess blue shadow. Now I'm just applying some concealer back to my lid and then I'll be applying my shadow. After applying the concealer back to your crease, you want to make sure you tap it all in. Blend it out that way your shadow doesn't come out cakey. So now using another wet and wild brush I will be taking that blue shimmery shade I don't think you could see that it's kind of shimmery but I took that blue shimmery shade and I'm gonna apply it to the middle section of my cut crease so you want to take your time and apply that shadow all the way up to the cut crease line guys take your time there's no no need to rush take your time and do it properly because you don't want to mess up all your hard work okay now I'm gonna apply this purple to the outer corner of my cut crease and I also added a little yellow in the inner corner of my cut crease where I'm gonna be applying my glitter For some reason I thought I showed it but I'm using my Too Faced Glitter Glow. So right here I'm just applying the glow into that section which I'm going to be applying my glitter. And the glitter that I'll be using is the Isme Gold Glitter. And that glitter I pick it up from my local beauty supply store. So that's what I'll be using guys. So all you gotta do is apply your glitter wherever you put the glue and all I used was one of my regular small eyeshadow brush and that's what I used to apply the glue and the glitter. Now to make my glitter wing, I'll be using this small pointy brush to apply the glitter and the glue to my cut crease line. So guys, this is another way that the sticky tape comes in handy. Instead of drawing a line and worrying about making it straight if you're not good, good or great at doing a wing line, then the sticky tape will work for you like it did for me because your girl can't do that, okay? Now all you can do is apply your lashes and that's that. Yeah, so now I'm gonna beat my face and I'll be back, okay?
this is the final look. If you like my look, go ahead and hit that like button. Comment what you think about my look down below. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and turn your post notification on so you can be notified when I upload another video. So until next time, it's your girl Tracy. I love you guys. Bye.